Hey, it's Mr. Sharp going over some 110 practice problems with you. Multiple proportion stuff like you'll see tomorrow on your quiz. So here we go. Here we go. Here we go. First one, lead and bromine combined to form two different compounds. Oh, it disappeared. Hopefully that won't happen on your quiz tomorrow. That would be bad. Okay, two different compounds. Compound A, PBB are four. Compound B, PBBR, question mark. Uh-oh. In compound A, it says for every one gram of lead, there are 1.55 grams of bromine. Beautiful. In compound B, for every one gram of lead, oh good, I see something that's the same. I'm so excited. There are 0.775 grams of bromine. And I want to know the formula for compound B. Excellent. Well, the law of multiple proportions saith that if one thing stays the same in relationship from compound A to compound B, then the other has to differ by a whole number ratio. You just have to figure out what that ratio is. So let's figure that out. So in compound A, we've got 1.55 grams of Br. In compound B, We've got 0 0.775 grams of Br. If I divide those two numbers, I find the number 2 exactly, or 2 to 1. So my ratio is 2 to 1 from compound A to B. In other words, there's twice as much Br in this formula as there is in this one. Well, since there's 4 here, if there's twice as much in A as there is in B, then this has to be a 2. So your answer for compound B is PBBR2. Now why did PB not change? Well, it didn't change in this ratio, so it shouldn't change in the formula either. Simple whole number ratio. Let's do another one. Gold forms two compounds with oxygen. Compound one is gold one oxide with this formula. Here's gold 3 oxide. It says in compound 1, 0.5 grams of gold combined with 12 grams of oxygen. In the second compound, if you have 0.5 grams of gold, what is the mass of oxygen going to be? This one's a little bit flip-flop from the last time. So what should we do? Well, from compound 1 to compound 2, we should have a whole number ratio. What is it? It's a ratio of 1 to 3. So from compound 1 to compound 2, if gold's the same, which it is, then we can just take this ratio and apply it to the masses that we have. So this ratio, 1 to 3, if I have 12 grams in the first, multiplying that by 3, the answer would be 36 grams. It really is that simple. First, finding the things that are the same. Second, identifying that whole number ratio. And third, applying that to the masses that we have. Well, it's been fun. I hope that that was helpful and rocking on for your quiz tomorrow. I'll see you then.